when I first moved down here, there wasn't really much for me to do. And then all of a sudden, one day before all the construction started, I saw some kayakers out kayaking. And my wife and I, we came down and we were uh, looking at them and stuff. And I was like, ah. Columbus, Georgia Whitewater has brought a brand new experience to the youth of Columbus, Georgia and the surrounding areas. Uh, there used to be kind of a running joke that there was nothing to do in Columbus, Georgia. Everybody my age was like, I gotta get out of here. You know, everybody just left. I'm one of them. Now we're seeing kids out here, you know, six, seven years old in kayak playboats, just firing it up. And it's ridiculous, they're from here. This is providing them something to be able to get outdoors, get away from video games, uh, be able to go experience nature. And even though they may just start out as a raft guide, they will eventually turn into kayakers and fly fishermen. And from there, you know, have a healthy appreciation for not only Columbus, but the outdoors also. You know, it was um, a long time waiting, I think about 20 years into the planning process before they breached the dam. There was two dams that uh, went across the river, and that became the, the really start of this idea about if we breach those dams, what, would, what could the river be? And uh, now we have a free-flowing river, and it's actually back to its natural flow. Uh, there's a few man-made features in the river, but most of it's just natural. This being right in the middle of the city, you can't ask for anything better. Everybody is able to come out, at least see it, if not play it, uh, going fishing in it. Um, the economic development that the, the Whitewater course has brought to the area has been phenomenal. You see a lot of cars and vans riding around with kayaks on top of them. That's a great change. Having this in my backyard has definitely helped out my kayaking career. Coming out here and knowing that this river runs two hours a day at least, even in a drought, that can, you can ask for a better situation. If you're looking for challenging water to uh, learn how to kayak, learn how to riverboard or sup, um, this is the water for you. The Chattahoochee has holes, little holes, wave holes, waves. It's pretty much good for every skill level. At the same hand, we are man-made. So we were able to go through and take a lot of the nasty features out that you're gonna find on different rivers and creeks. Wave Shaper is constructed with three metal fins in it that we can hydraulically adjust. It produces a series of different waves and holes in there. Big water, you're gonna experience wave heights of anywhere between three to eight foot. Today, water is gonna be coming all at the exact same time, so as water comes up, you will see good wave out there standing right around eight foot today. Absolutely amazing. It's just ultimately a great learning spot and a great training spot to, as well. And for all those adventurous folks out there that want to get out here and really experience what Columbus really has, cut bait is where it's at. It's an extreme challenge to be able to stay on your line, carry enough speed, and bust through at the exact point that you need to in order to get through cut bait. If you don't bust through it, you're going to get worked. The great thing is, is the very end of our whitewater course, um, so you don't have to worry about cliff fang falls coming up or anything like that. So if you do eject, enjoy the swim, embrace it, tell us how the fish are doing out there, and uh, click your gear and get back up and do it again. It's one thing about this river too, it's an inherently low risk river. So, um, you know, people swim a lot and uh, have a lot of fun, have a lot of good stories to tell. I've paddled all over the world and the Chattahoochee is still my favorite spot to paddle. I love it here and I couldn't ask for a better place to have as my home spot.